Svalbard, also known as Spitsbergen, is a very special place on Earth. Situated only 1,000 kilometers south of the North Pole, it benefits from mild temperatures provided by the Gulf Stream. Many species of plants and animals thrive on these scarce areas, free from glaciers. This unique Arctic ecosystem is now threatened by the world's fastest rate of climate warming. In the last 50 years, annual mean temperature has risen by 4 degrees Celsius. These changes affect Svalbard's flora, which also face competition from alien species introduced by historical settlers and modern travelers. Many alien species are often better adapted to warmer conditions and may pose a great threat to the local vegetation. In August 2019, a group of researchers from ETH Zurich and the Norwegian Institute for Nature Research, NINA, set out for an expedition to Svalbard settlements hosting a large number of alien species. Their plan? To study the interaction between the anthropogenic disturbance around the settlements, climate change and the effects on soil development and the local vegetation. The goal? To understand the conditions under which soil, native and alien plant species interact in order to better understand the evolution of Svalbard's ecosystems under future climatic conditions. Contrasting study sites were chosen in and nearby settlements that were established more than a century ago, Berensborg and Pyramiden. Berensborg is an old mining town where 450 Russian and Ukrainian workers still live permanently. Here, the researchers studied the relationship between plant species distribution and soil characteristics. The team took samples of both native, Arctic tundra, which is nutrient-poor, and imported disturbed soils, which are nutrient-rich. Now, the samples will be used to study the development of soil under changing climate. Pyramiden is an abandoned mining settlement. At Pyramiden, the researchers used a combination of field sampling and drone imagery to analyze the composition of plant communities. Based on a systematic grid of images, here shown by the green and blue dots that are taken by an unmanned aerial vehicle, high-resolution morphological information was collected to identify and monitor the spread of invasive alien plant species. The work of the researchers will illustrate the response of Arctic vegetation to human impact. Direct impact through soil disturbance, indirect through climate change. The researchers hope to provide essential knowledge to support adequate conservation policies and thus preserve Arctic ecosystems and native biodiversity.